Did you know that in the next 10 years, the first leading cause of death will remain pulmonary diseases? In fact, the number of deaths associated to lung diseases will even increase due to development of COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, lung cancers and tuberculosis. Based on the World Health Organization data, respiratory infections alone represent the third leading cause of death. These RTI have a significant social and economic impact leading to more than $40 billion per year in direct health costs in the US alone. And what about indirect costs linked to RTI? It is estimated that RTI are responsible for 30 to 50 percent of absenteeism in the workplace and 50 to 60 percent of absenteeism at school. This represents further losses of billions of dollars to both the private and public sectors. During their lifetime, every person will experience several episodes of respiratory infections. However, some people are more susceptible than others, due to either individual or environmental factors. Tobacco smoking is one of the main environmental risk factors of RTI. Alcoholism is also a risk factor as it favours bacterial infection and acute lung injury. Air pollution and inhaled irritants. Especially in low and middle income countries where solid fuels are widely used. In developing countries, malnutrition has a huge impact on children's immune systems. This increases the risks of infection. Did you know that age also has an impact on the immune system? Children and the elderly are more susceptible to respiratory infections. Children due to early exposure to infectious agents and socialization. The elderly due to weakened mucosal immunity, deficit of secretory IgA and prolonged exposure to risk factors throughout life. Other individuals can suffer from a weakened immune system because of stress, exhaustion and other factors and therefore become more susceptible to infection. Genetic factors can also contribute to severely low RTI and some gene mutations can lead to primary ciliary dyskinesia which in turn can lead to chronic respiratory infections. Finally, diabetes mellitus Obesity and COPD patients are also more prone to respiratory infections.